Back at it again, y'all, with another video for you guys today. We're going to be restoring some rusted plates. So that was the uh, after, but this is the before. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's not in good shape, especially the edges. They get dropped from time to time, so they tend to peel off. But this is uh, everything I use. Well, not everything, but most of everything. Anyway, plastic drop cloth. Use plastic, don't use cardboard, it's gonna stick. Sharpie paint pen, Rust-Oleum. I went with the white and the cherry, bruh. Cherry, Jokoi. Anyway, I used a steel brush as well to uh, assist with removing the rust. A three-in-one penetrant works phenomenal. Go ahead and get one of those. Like I said, I got this at my local Home Depot. Anyway, here we go. So, uh, Pretty simple, just a little bit of elbow grease. Um, I used a work glove for this because I didn't want to um, tear up my fingers when I was using a steel brush on it, but and that's just the regular microfiber cloth. I doused it with the uh, three and I, I shouldn't say doused, I, I you know, squirted some on there, a little squirt, squirt, and rubbed it on. Okay, this, we're still talking about restoration. Anyway, there you go. So as y'all can see, when I wiped it off, uh, most of the rust was removed. And I'm doing the other side now here, again with the microfiber, make sure I get all of it. Boom, it's a lot better than what it used to look like. Um, really works well, three in one, I recommend it. So here I put the plastic cloth drip for paint and I just um, clipped it with some, uh, regular clips I got from Home Depot too. Anyway, this is the white Rust-Oleum that I'm about to spray paint on here. Now, hindsight, I, I did not buy the Rust-Oleum primer. I should have because that will actually make this stick a lot better to the metal and last a lot longer. Whatever, it is what it is. Uh, we'll move forward. But um, for the purpose of this video, and I didn't really use my head, I just went with those. Anyway, those are four 25 pounds, four tens, two nickels, and two 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 and a halves. This is the first coat, as y'all can see, it uh, grabbed on pretty good. And then that's the uh, second coat. All in all, probably four hours for the first and second coat before I started with the uh, lettering. And I wanted to contrast the white and I used the black lettering on here. Take your time, for real, real. Because I didn't in the beginning and I smudged it, it I had to redo it. So take your time, don't do what I did. But anyway, look at that. Look how the black pops on the white. And I went ahead and did the uh, red and white with my uh, 45 pound plates. I had about six of them. But there it is right there. So, um, in my opinion, where it turned out real well, looks good. And uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about rust plates or getting a test mesh shot. But there we go. All right, y'all, more videos to come.